All right, hey, what's up, everybody? It's Andrew here. Uh, you might also know me by my gamer handle, which is Triangle Eye. Uh, I, I'm making this video today because I really want to share with you some really amazing discoveries I found. Um, and I kind of uncovered this technique that I call Smash Buffer. And uh, we'll get into what Smash Buffer can do for you, but just to mention as a few things, um, Smash Buffer lets you do wave dashes, wave perfect pivoting, uh, wave DI as a form of recovery, and wave shuffle as a way of escape. Um, I don't really have all the time to get into all the nuances and all the beautiful intricacies of what Smash Buffer is going to allow, but what I'm going to try and do is just um, go to training and show you guys some of the things that Smash Buffer will allow you to do and kind of give you a rundown. Um, and then once you've seen what you can accomplish with it and all the different angles of how it affects your neutral game in the horizontal, vertical, and like platform and recovery categories. Um, so when you see how it all works together, then I'll show you how to do it and um, then I'll start kind of going over the more technical side of how to accomplish these things. Even though there's like a, a, for each of these techniques, there's all kinds of different ways to do it. And I found some of my ways that are the more consistent ways, but um, y your mileage will vary with different characters and different speeds and different techniques. So I really think that Smash Buffer is going to unlock a very n new and nuanced type of play style and um, really attract some of the players that I think are stuck on Melee and Project M because I think that these techniques really prove, at least for me, they prove that Smash 4 is uh, the ultimate Smash game and I think that it's only going to keep getting better and I think that if these techniques make it through the patches and stuff, I think that we'll see a tremendous amount of personal style and flair showing up in different players, especially at the very high levels of play, and I think this might allow for combos that you can't do otherwise. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let me give you a rundown of what you can do with Smash Buffer. Um, shout out to Ninja Link too, because these, these techniques in Smash Buffer are inspired, well, I, they kind of inform, they're informed by what Ninja Link was doing with item tilts. He was at least the first player that brought it to my attention that you could do forward tilts and forward smashes while holding an item. And so when they took those away in this most recent patch, that's really what got me thinking about this concept of Smash Buffer and how to utilize it. All right, so um, I'm gonna go to Big Battlefield, um, just because it has lots of running space and lots of platforms and stuff to jump around on. And, it might just be harder or easier to understand the big picture of what's going on. Alright, so um, today I'm playing on a GameCube controller. I'm not using anything like a programmable pad or anything like that. You, you'll certainly see me make some mistakes here and there. Um, I haven't really practiced with this stuff too much. Um, I've more or less been trying to discover what is possible with it. So. Um, at the forefront is wave dashing. Um, pretty, really, 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 really easy to do. And you'll see me like just like dive into the ledge there. That's another technique that Smash Buffer does that I call ledge snapping. Um, wave pivots. Oop, okay. And like the timing on these is like pretty forgiving. Um, with wave dashes, you can pretty much wave dash into anything, which means you can wave dash into pivots. And because you can wave pivot, you can do this. Oops, that was pretty sloppy. <laughs> like I'm doing a pretty poor job right now, but you like you get the point. Like, you know, maybe even if you just do, like, a dash into a pivot, like, that's still really useful. You know? So, I mean, I mean, yeah, and then, 
you can do like waves of dash pivots. So you can do a lot of mix-up things with it. Um, so related to wave dashing is wave walking. You know, it can be kind of nice to like approach without having to, you know, activate a dash or, you know, like stay out of somebody's grab range. Like it can be really good for some spacing. Um, and then it's kind of got um, a related technique uh, which, oddly enough, I think a very similar technique was recently discovered in um, Neely. Um, they called it stage humping, and I can't remember what the video was called or who made it or who posted it, so I'm sorry. If somebody out there knows and wants to send me that information, I'll post it as like a tag or something um, down in the comments. I don't, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, so, but anyways, so like wave walking, so you can kind of um, duck. And I think this has big implications for characters like, I don't know, Jiggly or Kirby. Um, and I almost hate to mention this, but it's also the fastest uh, teabag <laughs> you can do. Um, without Smash Buffer, this is about the fastest I can get to go. Um, with wave humping, which is what I've been calling this for like a month now. Um, yeah. So, and then I mentioned earlier that with the same, similar to these techniques, you can do wave DI and wave shuffle. Um, I think Smash Buffer is really great. It allows you to do what I call frame sniping, um, your fastballs, sniping fastballs. And so like, you probably saw it there where you, you, I like fastball to the ledge and then like didn't fall through it. I hit the ledge and then was it like, yeah, very easily able to fastball. I mean, the implications of Smash Buffer and like what it's going to allow are like pretty big. Um, so while we're talking about landing, um, you can use it to guarantee a land and dash like really fast. Um, yeah, and you can like land in a roll really easily. Makes it really easy to fastball in the roll. Uh, makes it really easy to land and dodge. Um, so one thing I really like to do is reverse jump into an aerial dodge and then land into a dodge. So a lot of invincibility frames. Um, it also sets up for some really killer punishes. Um, or, and some really awesome reads. You know, you're gonna end up back airing them or landing behind him and grabbing him. There's a lot of stuff. Um, and the way you can mix it up on your lands, like going into roll shields, dodges, like, you know, I think there's a lot of potential right there for metagame that isn't really being utilized, especially to get around like really campy characters and to bait out your opponents that are just shielding to win. I, I think that there's a lot of great stuff there. Um, one last thing I'm going to mention before we go over to the control setup and I show you how to set your controller up to utilize Smash Buffer and then I'll show you how to do a few of these inputs and then I'm going to make a follow-up video where I really get into the technicals and really kind of talk about theory of stringing this stuff together. Um, so, uh, oh yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention was that on the ledge over here, it's really hard to get yourself to fall off that ledge. Like, you know, like, just anything that's like, you know, like too much, like, you're gonna get a fastball pretty much. Like, it's really hard to just, like, get that without the fastball for me. Um, but Smash Buffer makes it really easy. Like, I'm Smash Buffer now, and like, and like, it leaves me ready to react immediately afterwards. So, um, a way to power up and improve your ledge game. Uh, all right, so let's move over to the control setup and I'll show you how to set your controller up for Smash Buffer and kind of give a small rundown on why it works. And then I'm probably gonna make a follow-up video where I kind of get more into the specifics of everything and how to actually um, input these commands with your favorite character and utilize these for big options. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to control setup. Um, 
I'm just gonna make one from scratch, guys. I think that'd be easier. So, plus one smash buffer. And I think you'll understand why I call it smash buffer too, after you see this. Maybe you already have some guesses. All right, so today I'm playing on the GameCube controller. I normally prefer the Pro controller, but for showing you guys, I think most people like playing with the GameCube controller, so. Tap jump must be off. A plus B equals smash on. We are using the smash stick and only the smash stick. Any other stick is silly. Sorry, I'm just gonna say it. Uh, yeah, maybe B sticking. Um, the smash buffer, there's also probably a technique I could call B buffer. Um, smash buffer is way better. The smash stick is unique. It gives you, um, it doesn't necessarily have to slow you down. Um, it gives you automatic smash throws with items. Um, if you just tap it, it won't impede your um, left stick's movement. Um, but if you do want to like stay in place or reduce that movement, it's really great for that. And I think those unique properties are kind of why Smash Buffer allows things like wave dashing and like ledge snapping and stuff is because of how powerful the Smash Stick is. And uh, yeah, so Smash Stick's really important. Smash Attack equals A plus B. And on our left and right trigger, we've set A and B. So the idea of Smash Buffer is, is that you're going to find a way to buffer your special move or your attack over each other. So that might mean like throwing out a special move with Mario doing a fireball. And then immediately afterwards, while he's throwing the fireball, holding down your attack button with your right trigger so that both of those triggers are held down. And it's important that they're on the triggers too because we want to leave both of our, both our left and right thumb um, ready to operate the left stick and the C stick. Alright? Um, so, I set my Z button to shield. Um, while we're on the topic, the Z button is way better for shielding than either of these trashy triggers. Um, they're pretty bad. They don't really have a good on-off response. You really want your sh like your unshield response, the, the release of your shield, to be as tight and snappy as possible. And for that reason, digital um, button inputs are the only thing that's appropriate for it. Um, I'm just going to correct these just for my own stylings because like I said I like the Pro Controller so this is kind of set up more how I have that set up. Alright so smash equals A plus B, A plus B on our triggers and we got smash attack. So if we go to test it, I hit that fireball and I hit the attack and I'll get a smash attack because A plus B equals smash. If I hit them right after each other the attack is held down there on the bottom of the screen, you'll see. So I'm gonna hit special move and then immediately follow it up with the attack. So both of my triggers are held down. And if I hit my X button, which is set to attack, you'll see Mario isn't going to attack. And the same goes for special, which is set to B for me. Um, grab, since attack is buffered, is going to give us shield. All right. So, With attack and special move being buffered, and those being our smash attack, our smash stick no longer gives us an attack. So if I press it up, I'm not going to get anything. If I press it down, he's just going to go down and come right back up. And so this is really a great clue for how the smash stick works in buffer mode. If you hold it down, he comes right back up. So the smash stick is just going to put one directional input in and off, and at the same time turn off your left stick. So. For that reason, if I dash with my left stick, and then I immediately follow it up by holding the same direction on my right stick, I'll come to a stop. And so that's kind of what allows you to reset your dashes and do dash, wave dashing. So I'm just gonna, like, I go left, right really quick, and I kind of consider that one movement, and I kind of do that in successions, and it's different for different characters because they have different speeds. But it pretty much looks like this, and I'm just pressing, right on both of them, starting with my left stick and then following immediately with my right stick. And now I'm going to the left. All right, so that's the uh, basics of Smash Buffer. If you like what you heard here, um, I'd really appreciate it if somebody would hook me up with a mess amiibo. All right, 